Hey guys, you need to save 20 humans to earn the humanitarian trophy. So I'm going to show you all of them one area at a time, starting in the haven at the Maker's Forge. Now from that serpent hole, the serpent holes of course serve as checkpoints here. We are going to go up this alternate path here, and we're going to take this to the very end. It's a very long a linear path so I'm gonna just kind of cut out a lot of the middle ground now just as a note there are a lot of areas that you can't access until after you've acquired the appropriate hollows you'll need the four hollows flame stasis force and storm in order to get to a lot of these so you're gonna to have to backtrack in order to uh, save them so we're gonna go and save our first human we finally made our way all the way up to the end at the end of this path right in front of us there's gonna be a little barrier in front of him but just run to this corner and save the human. So we're going to stay in the Haven. There's six total in the Haven area. And we're going to go to the crossroads, which is just down the elevator from the forge. So from here, we're going to go to the exact opposite corner. Now you need the force hollow, the purple hollow, in order to break open the barrier with the mallet. Now, as a side note, you need 20 humans. However, it actually will count all the humans from multiple different save files so you can get 10 on one save file and you can get another 10 on a different save file even if they're the same 10 humans it doesn't matter they'll add up to 20 and you'll get the trophy of course i'm showing you the location of all 20 of them in a single playthrough if that's how you choose to do it so that was the next one number three is also going to be from the crossroads serpent hollow we are going to go over drop down to where the subway area is and as soon as you drop down this hole right here you're going to be greeted with a human it might actually be the first no, human just, that you just, save just, just kill me. Just... so in the haven area we're going to go to the skyscraper serpent hole this is actually going to be an area that you'd reach prior to getting to the forge but we're going to take the serpent hole and go all the way to the end actually the maker's forge uh, checkpoint would be closer and right before we get to that final building, we're going to turn off to the right. Now, you need the Storm Hollow. You need the Storm Hollow in order to lift yourself up with the wind. Now, just like that first one I showed you, there's going to be a very long linear path that you need to take. So, I'm going to just show you the beginning here. Cut the middle out and skip right here to the end. And you're going to eventually get to a point where you can jump out of this building and into another building. And as soon as you do this, you'll see the human right in front of you. All right, so the final two humans that we're going to save are in the north end of the haven. So from that serpent hole, we're just going to head towards the church. You can see it way out in the distance. We're not actually going to go to the church. We're just going to go straight down this path. And then there's a little barrier to the right-hand side. You can break it open with the force hollow mallet, or you can use that purple goo over there charge up one of the bugs and then throw it at this door here which i've already opened and once you open it inside is going to be a human as well as a, a cluster so the next human is going to be very close to there so let's just kind of back it up just a little bit head down that same path instead of breaking through that barrier to the right we're going to go straight drop down and there's going to be a hole here that we can climb into and at the end of this room is going to be the human. So we are going to go from the Haven to the Nether. And this is going to be starting from the Splintered Station, a Serpent Hole. So from here, we're going to just kind of dive deep into the cave system here. Or head that way, at least. And you're going to see the red goo that's there. You'll use that to break open a barrier. But instead, we're going to circle around and back. And then we have another little tunnel we can crawl through and at the end of this we're gonna find the human Please. the next human is gonna be very close to the cistern uh, serpent hole and this is gonna be kind of on your way to where sloth is located you would go through that little hole there to get to him Instead, we are going to take a very close nearby dead-end path up these stairs and find the human here. Please. Now, the final three humans are going to be uh, close to the Tangled Grotto. The Tangled Grotto is ultimately what leads you to Sloth. So from that checkpoint area, we are going to go straight down the path, stay straight, kind of veer a little to the left, and we're going to circle around to the left. 
and then up a ramp made of this abandoned train car. And then follow this to the end. Now again, remember, you need 20 humans. There's 20 in a game. You can mix and match any number of humans through multiple save files. So if you want to just, again, get five on one, seven on another, eight on the, a third one, feel free. Same thing works with the uh, animantine and the uh, artifacts as well. So the Tangled Grotto from that same previous uh, serpent hole, we're going to veer off to the right here, and then we're going to head straight. And straight in front of us, you're going to see a long set of stairs. Now you're going to need the Force Hollow and use the mallet to break open this little barrier that's here. Top of the stairs, we're going to look to the right, and there's an area we can jump into which we will do right now. Now there are two humans in here and this area is very kind of confusing and maze-like. So I'm gonna do my best to try to steer you so you don't get lost. I've cleared this area, at least I thought I cleared it really well and then I came back another time and found a whole nother area I'd never been to. And there's a lot of things for you to collect in here. Now once you're inside, we're gonna stay to the right, stay to the right. Now you're gonna see this thing here. Now that drops down to the train station below. Instead we're gonna take this path that you could drop down just to the right of it and then follow this all the way down we're going to stay to the right once again and we'll eventually run into the human now the next human that we find will will go to that same drop down point that took us to this path but we're going to actually go to the right of that so there's that human so let's go ahead and let's just back up let's go jump into the hole and start this section here from the beginning Crawl through here. And once again, we're going to stay to the right. We're actually going to stay more to the right this time than we did last time. So there's the hole we dropped down right in front of us. So now we're going to instead, we're going to stay, take this rightmost path. And then follow this around. Now we're going to look for a little area we can jump up which is right through here. Look for the kind of like the green uh, moss and whatever is on the rock, the cliff side there. Take this path to the end. We've got a big wall we can jump up. We've got to use the flame hollow in order to get up there. And the human's right at the top. So that'll do it for the nether. We're going to head over to the bone lands now. Starting at the festering pool serpent hole. As you wait, now from this checkpoint, you're going to have to come out here. And you got this big open area. We're going to just continue onwards to the next big building that you have to go into. Now this is part of the path that you're going to have to take. Eventually getting you to uh, Lust is where you'd head. Quite a trek. It, a bit of a distance away. But we're going to get into this building. We're going to get up to the second floor. And from the second floor, we're going to find an exit to the building. There's going to be a blown out hole here. And down here, there's going to be one of those bugs. You got to use the purple juice, charge it up, blow open the wall here. But if you want to jump over these containers back here, you'll let, find yourself a human. All right, so the Drowned District is the next Serpent Hole that we are going to find. We're going to enter the this area, this next large area. And don't worry, your internet is fine. Your video did not freeze. That was just the game loading. And once we enter here, there's going to be a, a little room up high, which I'll show you here in just a second. And we're going to have to swing into it. So there's the room that we're going to try to get into way up there now if you haven't opened the shortcut door yet you're gonna have to go around the right hand side uh, that way but I've already opened up the shortcut door so I'm just gonna go through it just to save us a little time and we're gonna go outside and take the stairs up and then we are going to do a grapple swing but we're gonna take the grapple swing 
and kind of alter our direction towards the little window over there. Using our flame hollow, we're going to do a little double boost jump here. And inside this room, you'll find the human. Save him, send him back to the forge with the others. So the mangled freeway is the next serpent hole. This is actually after you get off the freeway. You've done the whole freeway section, the highway, the bridge thing. And then you're going to find that checkpoint and then crawl, uh, tunnel through here. Now, you're not going to miss this human unless you have no heart because you can hear him and you're literally going to walk right next to him. So make sure you save him. Very easy to find that one. All right, so the cargo hold is the serpent hole you'll reach after you defeated Lust. So we're going to go from this uh, back outside to the arena where we fought that boss battle and use our new force hollow to turn into our magnetic ball. And then we're going to go up here. Now, this is going to be a couple minutes of a linear path. So I'm just going to skip to the point where you drop through a building and then you come back outside and you're going to see a green water over here on the right hand side we got another load so what we're going to do is equip our storm hollow and then use the wind to uh, fly across the water here now up high on this next building way up here is going to be one of those squid things that you use to climb up and use as a platform i've already went around there pushed it down and then i pushed it all the way down to the other end here i did that to save time so here's the little squid thing. So if you get it into this position, you can now access a second floor secret area. This secret area also has a one of those little mini boss battles where you get an essence of the hollow. The essence would be off to the left hand side, but we're gonna take a right turn and find ourselves a human. All right, so now we are heading to the depths. And we got the Forgotten Lake a checkpoint, the Serpent Hollow. And what we're going to do is go into the water. Now, this is a very large underwater lake. Now, there's a lot of things you can do here. There's a some uh, runes off to the left-hand side, a temple where you can get another Essence of the Chosen. And there's a whole bunch of uh, collectibles and things that you can get here. Now, straight ahead, you'll see the three kind of lights, the glowing lights. Those are swords. Uh, you'll have to acquire the third sword. Put it into place to open up the doorway that you can see in front of us. This is all story path stuff, so you'll have to do this. You're going to go through this, and you're going to turn right, drop into water once again. And then you're going to swim ahead, and you'll see some train cars underwater here. And what we're going to do is, right about at that point, we're going to swim up and to the left. And there's going to be a puzzle there you got to uh, put two blocks into the correct position basically making stairs out of these two blocks one's taller than the other again this is story uh, path as well now once you're up here you're going to see a a wall you have to break open with the force hollow mallet but we're not going to do that just yet we're going to get the human that's just past it so we're going to have to jump up to this cliff using the flame hollow and jump up again into this building where we're going to find this pretty well hidden human. You'll hear him faintly if you listen. All right, so now we got the sudden, uh, the sunken tracks checkpoint. So from this point, we're going to equip the stasis hollow. The stasis hollow will allow us to ping pong off this, these walls here to get ourselves up to the top. Now we're going to equip the force hollow and then do a grapple swing the grapple swing into the magnetic ball it's kind of a one move two actions kind of thing now we're going to go ahead and roll ourselves to the other end of this area drop and then there's going to be a room off to the right hand side where we're going to find the human save him send him back to the forge number 18 in the depths the sewage express uh, egress this is actually very cl close to where you uh, have the gluttony boss fight. So from that checkpoint, you can do another stasis hollow wall jump up to the top. Once you're up to the top, there's going to be a room here. It's going to be uh, things blocking its path, some crates or barrels or something. Break those open and inside you'll find the human. So heading to Scar, we're going to start off with the drilling index. 
This is really kind of early in the level. You'll recognize it. You're going to see one of those spindle things. You got to use your ranged weapon and turn the things around. But you're going to use the stasis hollow to get up to the next level. And then we're going to use it again to get into a secret room up here where we're going to find the human uh, cowering at the very end of it. Now the last and final one, there's not really a, a serpent hole checkpoint nearby. So I'm just going to kind of show you some landmarks. This is probably the, the best well hidden one in the game. So I'm on the conveyor belt thing. I'm going to freeze it so I can make my way up. Freeze the second one here. Now you may also access this uh, next area going from the demon uh, tower area first. But whichever, you'll recognize this. You'll have to come up here as part of the story at some point. So we're going to jump up here. Now we need to jump onto a moving platform. Again, you may have been coming from the left. You may already be on the platform. So we're going to get on this and take this all the way to the end and then drop down. If you don't drop down to the left, there's another essence of the chosen fight. But we're going to drop down at the end and you see this little death trap here. We need to drop down there. In order to do that, we're going to equip the uh, stasis hollow and then freeze these spinning things. Allowing us to safely drop down here. There's a few collectibles down here, including this artifact. And uh, at the far up opposite end is where we're going to find the 20th and final human. If you collect all 20 of them, remember you get the humanitarian trophy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and of course, subscribe.